This is an example and walkthrough of how I use student blogs in the Canvas Learning Management System. One of the first assignments that, that I gave out this year was the uh, Spaghetti Tower. and It was a construction uh, project in class where the students were working together in groups and they had a certain amount of money to buy either spaghetti sticks or things to um, put the st stick the spaghetti sticks together with like marshmallows or, or little pieces of tape and they had to get it up to at least 80 centimeters tall. There was different roles and part of the the final process of this was to document what had happened on their learning blog. And really it wasn't that hard, but setting up a blog and turning it in was quite a challenge for the students. A lot of them have never even uh, set up a blog, so we had to go through uh, some some basics on how to set up a blog and then a lot of them were turning in the wrong URL they were turning in an edit URL instead of a share or view URL so that was a difficulty as well but by the end of it everybody turned in uh, the spaghetti blog post as their first uh, post in their in their blog uh, and it was it was really cool and I think it's 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 benefited uh, the students and myself because they they now know how to make a blog and now we, the next things that we add on, it's a lot easier and uh, they're, they're getting a lot more proficient at, at this process as well as me. Okay, so here is uh, the assignment requirements and then I also attached a rubric uh, using Canvas's rubric tool with uh, different criteria and ratings like a fiscal report and the architectural diagrams and group evaluations and whatnot. If I click on Edit Assignment, you can kind of see how this is put together. Uh, you type in the information in the rich text editor right here. Uh, choose some options down here, how many points you want to make it, what, what the due date is, um, and what type of submission it's going to be. No submission, online submission, or paper. This is an online submission, and I am only going to allow a website URL for this. Also, you can go over here and you can say that uh, this is a part of this assignment group, how you're going to grade it, and you can also choose uh, whether this is a group assignment and set your groups. And if you check this off, you can require peer reviews, and the system can either manually, you can assign the peer reviews, or it can automatically assign peer reviews. In this case, I'm having it automatically assign three peer reviews uh, per user and here's the date that the uh, reviews are going to be assigned on. You can also uh, lock submission so that if somebody somebody basically can't turn it in after a, a certain date so uh, they either turn it in by that date or they don't turn it in. Uh, so that's the the options that I have set up here let me show you, and we'll switch over modes now, uh, what this assignment looked like on the turning it in part. So if I, I go back over to the assignment, uh, you'll see a link over here that says Speed Grader. This is probably my favorite feature of Canvas, uh, is the way that it, it handles uh, grading digital assignments. It's, it's awesome. Okay, and here we go. I'm going to pick a, a student at random here. Um, this, this student, which I'm going to um, cross out the name to uh, comply with uh, FERPA laws, uh, turned in a, a Tumblr blog. And so if I click right there, uh, you can see that the Tumblr blog and uh, there, there it is there is the spaghetti tower and you can see uh, the, uh, the materials that they used and then she wrote up um, the questions that, she, that I asked her to respond to. Uh, now if I go to grade this I click on view rubric and I go okay the fiscal report is good and notice it puts in the points as soon as I, I click on this it changes the points so I don't have to worry about adding them up. I go over here uh, okay that group evaluation looks good and this looks good as well. So that one, let's say, is an 18 out of 20. I hit save, or if I need to, I could comment on any specific criteria in the rubric, like 
uh, oh no, your group evaluation isn't there, uh, and then say, oh no, you missed your group evaluation, type it in there, and then I basically can hit save or cancel, I'm not going to save this, but um, I'll just hit cancel on that, and then basically the student could see that, that rubric uh, when they look at their grades, and they'll see exactly how I graded it. You can also uh, write additional comments down here and uh, there's also a media embed tool that would normally be right here but this is the open source version and we haven't integrated the, the media embed tool yet. Uh, so basically the media embed tool would allow you to record a, a voice recording or a, a screencast um, or a, not a screencast um, or a video recording. So the embed tool would allow you to record a video recording or uh, using your the embed tool would allow you to record a video recording using your webcam or an mp3 recording using your um, computer microphone and then attach that uh, as well. So basically that's uh, that's what Tumblr, Tumblr would look like uh, I picked another one. Here's a WordPress blog right here. I could leave a comment right here. And this would be a public comment for the student. And everybody would see that. Or I could leave uh, private comments right here as well. So it's really cool because uh, I don't have to leave the web browser, open up another window, chase down things, and then have to worry about where the grade is going to go. I just I simply record everything in here uh, using the rubric tool. It goes to the grade book. Uh, I'm not dealing with attachments. I could leave public pr comments, private comments. You could do a lot of different things with this. Really, the sky's the limit. Well, I hope this helped. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. I'd be happy to answer.